Hello, welcome to Meet the Teacher Night. My name is Charlie Carlisle and I have your attention for the next five to ten minutes. So let's just move along right now and discuss some things in sixth grade math. All right. So as mentioned, my name is Charlie Carlisle. I am the sixth grade math teacher as well as the sixth grade team leader and the volleyball director. And this is my 27th year at BGA. I've been here a long, long time. Yes, I have. Um, so I have one daughter, that's Catherine right here. Um, she is actually a, a freshman this year. So she is 15 years old, has a driver's permit. So I'm a little nervous. Okay. So I just really wanna to talk to you about three things in my classroom, really three different things. I can share with you the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus, you know, also has you know, if you like, I can talk, you know, the syllabus has, you know, what we cover in sixth grade math. I can give you that information. It also gives you like the grading formula, you know, how much test count for the quarter, a percentage wise quizzes. I can, I can send all that information to you. Just shoot me an email, charlie.carlisle at my BGA, and I'll send it, send the syllabus to you. But I just really want to focus on three, three things um, for this uh, Meet the Teacher Night. Uh, number one, flipping the classroom. Uh, the second thing is just talk about retakes. And then the third thing, corrections. So three things, flipping the classroom, retakes, corrections. Got it. Okay, so number one, flipping the classroom. What does that even mean? Well, you know, when you go to a traditional classroom, when you go to a traditional classroom, the teacher teaches, they go over the lesson, blah, 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 blah. They talk, 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 talk. And then they give the homework to the students at the end of the class and the students do the homework at home. They learn about the lesson at school. Well. I flip the classroom. So that means my lessons are at home or wherever because my lessons are on YouTube. All I gotta do is uh, open, the, open up the video, watch the video tutorial, uh, take some notes, and now they are really prepared for the homework, which they do in school or in the classroom. So that's what flipping the classroom looks like. Students will watch the video tutorials at home, they complete the homework, during class. For example, I just had a class a few minutes ago and we, we went a little bit more in depth about the topic that we just covered on prime factorization. And then I gave them the worksheet, the classwork, which they had about 20 minutes to complete. Most of them finished or came close to finishing. So the good news is the only thing that your child should be doing at home is watching video tutorials. Most of the math homework should be completed at school. That's the good news, okay? Flipping the classroom I really like because it allows me, while they are working on the homework in class, it allows me to walk around and check for understanding. And I can really help uh, all students, but especially those students where math is just hard. And, and we have that every year with, there's several students that math is just hard for them. So it gives me a, uh, ample opportunity to provide support for those students. Okay, flipping the classroom. That's what flipping the classroom looks like. Um, the next thing I just wanted to talk about are retakes. So, in math, we have tests and quizzes. Uh, usually about every two weeks, there's a quiz or test. And I, I will have some students that will not score very well. I, I get that every time on a quiz or test. And when I say some, I, I'm giving a number out of 72 kids. The number could be anywhere between three to eight students, okay? Um, I allow retakes. If a student scores lower than the 70% on any test or quiz, lower than 70 on any test or quiz, they can retake. Um, but they have to do a few things first. Number one, they gotta come see me. I just won't let a student retake without me going over what they've struggled with. And so the other thing they have to do is bring in the old test or quiz. I look at it and go, oh, oh, I see what you're having trouble with, Sally. It looks like you're having trouble with how to add fractions with unlike denominators. Let's do a couple problems. And once I see they are ready, I'll let them retake it. And the test will be a little bit different, the numbers are different, but it'll pretty much be the same test. Um, but please uh, be aware that the best grade that they can get on the retake will be a 70%, because to me it's not fair if I'm not letting student that scores 74 on a test, I'm not allowing them to retake, that's not really fair for another student who's retaking it to get a better grade than that person. So retakes, the best that you can do is a 70%. So I allow retakes, okay? Uh, it's usually on the students though to initiate that conversation. So I pass back the test quizzes, the next day always I grade them, and. Uh, We'll go over it in class, and then if a student scores lower than 70, you know, they usually come and see me during study hall, morning help session, 
and we, we have a conversation about, okay, what are we gonna do to retake this? And what are the steps that, that it looks like? Um, okay, that's the second thing on retakes. And then the third thing that I just wanna discuss, see, I said it's gonna be a one, two, three kind of thing, just cover three things. The last thing is corrections. This is, this is something that I do. I don't know if many math teachers do this. I think this is great. So every homework assignment, and the kids will get a homework assignment almost every day in class, right? They get a real grade. So if there's 10 problems and they miss two, their grade is a, yeah, an 80%. I know. So let's just say Sally scores an 80% because she misses two problems. You know, let's just say she misses three and two. You know, there's 10 problems, problems are on the back, she misses two. She'll get the grade back the following day, right? And then Sally can correct those two problems that she missed. They know the format. They're supposed to do it on a separate sheet. They staple it. They turn it in. If those problems are correct, she'll get half the points back. She'll earn half the points. So she could possibly raise her average to a 90, boy, that's really sloppy, to a 90%, okay? And they can do that. They don't have to do that the next night or, the, or over the weekend. It has to be done by the end of the quarter. So your child, might score some grades in the 60s or 70s or 80s. They can correct any of those problems that they miss and earn half the points back, okay? So what did we cover mainly today? We talked about flipping the classroom. We talked about retakes and we talked about corrections. Three things that's important for math. Um, the last thing I just wanna mention, and then we're gonna wrap it up. This video is only like seven minutes long, but the last thing is I am always available for help and I want to help your child especially if they're struggling because again I've been doing this for 27 years and there's some students math is just hard for them so please have your child come see me I'm always available every morning at 7 15 I get here by 7 15 every morning the only days they probably can't see me are Wednesdays because we have usually faculty meetings but please drop them off Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday come see me also I'm always available during study hall Students can come see me during study hall. They can check out, they know this. They are very well aware of this. And then the last thing is we have a, a support faculty person here, Ricky Rodriguez. He is the academic enrichment coordinator and he can also provide support. So we, 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 we have many avenues to help your child in math as well as you know uh, in other subjects too, okay? So again, thank you for watching this quick video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want that syllabus, you know, that I showed you, if you want to know the, the grading formula, percentages, the, how much test counts, or if you want to see what we cover or anything else, just shoot me an email. I'll send that to you. And um, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email too. Again, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It really wasn't a tutorial. It was uh, Meet the Teacher Night. But hope you enjoyed this, and I will hopefully get to meet you one day. Bye-bye now.